हेलो एवरीवन आई ब्लेस यू एंड चेरियन अलोंग विद माय टीममेट्स आकाश कुमार सिंह रवि मेहतो एंड मोहम्मद आरिफ विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग आर डीवीएमएस प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द केस स्टडी आर्ट म्यूजियम वील स्टार्ट बाय एक्सप्लेनिंग द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट द म्यूजियम हैज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ आर्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स ईच आर्ट ऑब्जेक्ट हैज अ यूनिक आई एंड आर्टिस्ट अ यर एंड अ टाइटल एंड अ डिस्क्रिप्शन द आर्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर कैटेगराइज इन सेवरल वेज एज डिस्कस बिलो so art objects are categorized basically in three main types painting sculpture or statue plus another type called other to accommodate objects that do not fall into the main two categories so a painting table has mainly the attributes paint type material and the and the things that which on which the painting is drawn on style and the sculpture uh, table has a uh, material as well as attributes such as height weight and style we have an art object category which is uh, named as other which uh, includes basically the type and style of the art object art objects uh, are categorized either as permanent collection or borrowed so permanent collection is for the objects that are owned by the museum and borrowed are the object art objects that have been borrowed from different museums uh, permanent collection table includes date acquired status and the cost of the art object as well uh, then the borrowed table includes the uh, the collection from which it was borrowed date borrowed and the date returned museum also keeps track of the artist information so the artist table basically contains the attributes such as the artist name date of birth date of death country epoch basically refers to the era from which the art of, or the artist belongs to um and the style in which the artist usually does his work and the description of about the artist so different ex- exhibitions occur at different uh, points of time so each has its own name the start date and end date we have a table for that exhibitions are related to all the art objects that were displayed during the exhibition now information is kept on the other collections as well with which the museum interacts this information includes name type description address phone and current contact person further in the video we'll be explaining you the er as well as er diagrams so these are some symbols used in er notation while we are making er diagram we use these symbols so these are some symbols you can see these are some other symbols like we use while we are making diagram so now let's continue with step 1 step 1 said we should identify entities so from our case study we find out these entities first entity is artist art object exhibition and fourth one is information and last one is collection step second said identify attributes so from our case study we identify these attributes for our er diagram and step third said identify primary key so unique id number artist name name these name are unique from these entities from these entities these are primary key and step four show relationship between the entities so an artist can create multiple art object that is by cardinality is one relation similarly here art object plays in exhibition here our cardinality is and ratio one similarly for other entity we identify cardinality so art object has information so here cardinality is 1 ratio 1 cardinality will be uh, n ratio 1 when art object has collection now we will see our diagram of er diagram in this diagram these rectangular shape this one this rectangular shape is strong entities and this oval shape is showing attribute and it is these double line is showing total participation and these diamond shape is showing relationship between these two entities and this is weak entity information is weak entity now we establish link uh, among these entities and create our er diagram and these things which are underlined these are primary key so artist can create art object and object display in exhibition object collected from collection and art object has information information mean country pop these are uh, like information about art object so this is er diagram of art museum now my friend ari will continue 
Okay guys, so now let's continue with the EER that is Enhanced Entity Relationship Diagram. How it is different to ER diagram is uh, it also includes class of class relationship like shape to square, circle and triangle. There are two approaches, generalization and uh, uh, specialization, top down approach and uh, bottom up approach. Now next is uh, our total and partial specialization. This double line symbol denotes the total specialization and the single line symbol denotes the partial specialization. It means uh, if there is total specialization, any vehicle should be belong to one of the subclasses, but in partial specialization it is not the case. Now next comes to disjoint and overlapping. So here D denotes disjoint, O denotes overlapping. Disjoint means uh, the square, circle, triangle, all the subclasses are not related to each other anyway. But uh, here it can be said that it employee can be customer and customer can be employee. Now next comes to our identifying subclasses for our art museum. So there are two subclasses, uh, two set of subclasses for art object that is first set has permanent and borrowed types and uh, second set has painting, sculpture and other type. Now the attributes for the subclasses are permanent having date acquired status and cost and these are the attributes for the uh, entity. Now it comes to our EER. As Akaz have shown you the ER diagram, uh, there are slight modification to make that diagram to the ER, di ER diagram. So what uh, we have done here is art object is defined into two sub set of subclasses, permanent borrowed set of subclass, painting, sculpture, other set of subclass. So what we have done is as art object is defined, di divided into permanent and borrowed. So uh, we have related it, it to the disjoint set of subclasses and uh, as connected it to the total specialization as the art object can belongs to uh, one of the subclass not any other option is there that uh, any um, object is there that is not from permanent or not from borrowed so there is total specialization and uh, uh, Similarly, we have also divided it into the painting, sculpture and other. So, we connected it with the total specialization symbol and disjoint as painting, sculpture and other have no relation in one another. And if there is uh, any art object that doesn't belong to painting or sculpture that belongs to other, so there is a total specialization. Now, let's see relational database designed by ER and ER to relation mapping. ER to relation mapping is type uh, map, mapping of regular entity types. For this, uh, we create uh, a new relation and we include the, all the simple attributes in it and select one of the key attributes as primary key. Uh, here we can see in the ER diagram, artist, art object, exhibition and collection are uh, uh, strong entity types and uh, we created their uh, mapping as follows, art object, artist, exhibition and collection we included all their attributes and uh, selected one of the attribute as primary key. Uh, mapping of weak entity types. For weak entity types, we uh, identify the weak entity type and the owner entity type. We create the relation and uh, we include all the uh, attributes of weak entity type and we include the primary key uh, of the owner entity type as foreign key in the relation. And now the primary key for the relation is the combination of both the primary key of, uh, of the owner entity type and the partial key of the weak entity type. Uh, like this we did in the art object and information. Now object ID and the country together form the primary key for information table. And uh, art object has the object ID as primary key. We included this in the information table. ER to relational mapping steps. In mapping of binary one and relation types, there are two possible approaches, foreign key approach and cross-reference or relationship relation approach. Uh, let's see, uh, we have artist art object as a one and relationship, art object exhibition as one and, and art object collection. So we did uh, like this, uh, art object, artist and exhibition. So art object, artist, we included the artist ID as foreign key in the art object table. Uh, in the because art object is on the end side and the same here with the exhibition e name we included in this uh, because it is also on the end side um, mapping of er model construct to relation mapping of specialization or generalization uh, mapping of specialization we have four options uh, multiple relations superclass subclass approach 
multiple relation subclass relation only single relation with one type attribute single relation with one type. Uh, here we can see uh, art object is classified as uh, permanent and borrowed and uh, also it is classified as painting sculpture and other. so we made the schema like this we choose the option of multiple relation super class and subclass and uh, we included the super class primary key in all the relation uh, painting sculpture other and permanent and borrowed the final er relational schema look like uh, with all the reference 